Martin Tyler here with you as usual and delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be Thank here. You. This is our match today. Exeter City, they play Chesterfield. This is the home team lineup. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are, for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? To put them in front. How did he save that? Uh, he's one of the best in the business from those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. Put the corner in the middle. Pass never looked like reaching its target, and they're away with the ball. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Not too much time for extra touches here. Throw in now. It is a success for the host today, based so far on shutting out the opposition. Well, some people call this side boring, but not for me, because uh, they just love their clean sheet. Real chance. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. Oh, that is a fantastic goal. Yeah, he's close in, but he kept his head down. So the first goal, it's 1-0. news from Cheltenham. It's a goal for Cheltenham Town. 13 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Great play from the attacker. Well, they're in a good position here. Only partially away from danger. To Barry. Mitchell. Watek, pass threaded through, there's a dangerous feel to this attack, it's looking good from their point of view. Strong challenge. Dennis. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. Promising build-up until that challenge. There's going to be a penalty elsewhere. Alan McAnally is watching it. It's a penalty for Rackington Stanley. He's put the ball down on the spot. Here he comes, steps up. Straight down the middle, cool as you like. 27 minutes played, 1 0. Well, many thanks, Alan Macken. Good power in that. Oh, he's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his runner touch. Manager won't be too happy with that. Could be dangerous. Well, he's got support here. Well, it will be a throw-in. Very good distance to the clearance. A goal from a great ball. It could be a chance. Be awkward if he loses the ball here, and he might do. There's some pressure on him. Goal news from Stevenage. It's a second goal for the visitors. 42 minutes played. 2-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Must score. Pulls it back now. And they have scored, and they do lead now by two, and they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. He's tucked it away, well out of the goalkeeper's reach. I love to see that, don't have to whack it from that kind of position, just side-footed home. 
restarting at 2-0. move and able to cut out the pass it's good to know how much longer challenges for the ball and a try one now oh he was in for another goal there but the goalkeeper this time got the better of him yeah it looked for all the world like the striker was going
official has indicated there will be a minimum of the second two half is off and, and underway. That's good movement forward here. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Made the challenge well. Penalty at Crawley. It's a penalty for Crawley Town. He's put the ball down on the spot. Big chance to score. Little step. Goalkeeper Fox straight down the middle. 51 minutes played. 2 0. Cheers, Alan. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Can go in from here. To get back in the game. What a goal! Well, good finish, no doubt, Martin, but what a. about the play before that what about the passing wonderful team effort and we restart the game 2-1 goal news now from Carlisle it's a goal for Carlisle United 57 minutes please 1-1 Max Allen Dennis now here's a chance On to the attack now. A real opening for him. One in front, they would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front, and they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? To Barry. Good challenge here. That's neatly done. Good challenge by the different. Possibly booking this. Now Brown. Should be. Shot the post here. Great goalkeeper. Great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a prayer there, but he's so agile, this keeper. Neatly intercepted. Dennis. Hit Reed. Good vision. A real chance here. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. Two for him on the day. And two very well taken goals. Well, I've seen some uh, good performances from this chap this season, but I think it's the best so far. Alan, and he's coming off, I think, simply because, you know, the situation that allows that to happen. And well played. Yeah, one of those players that just covers a quite a small area of the pitch, but he does it so well, uses his intelligence and uh, invaluable to this team. Free kick given, and there's a real uh, discussion now about how to make the most of it. Activity on the bench for the losing team. And it's in the net for the goal! Patrick, goal number three here, and it's a perfect day for the player. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match, and he thoroughly deserves that hat trick. I don't think we expected this. Such a one sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Goal news from Morecambe. It's a second goal for Morecambe. 78 minutes played. 2 1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. On the attack here. Good defending. Break quickly when they get guiding it through. Just the keeper to beat. Wonderful chance. Up for grabs here.
It's Ian Everett. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. It could be a chance! Flag up for offside. It's not going to count. Well, really good organisation. From the defence, and it was offside looking at it. And the managers decided for a change of personnel. Three minutes from the referee. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? Guiding the pass through. The player thought he was going to get there, but the goalkeeper's just beaten him to it. Headed down to a teammate. That's the end of the game. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. We came into this match absolutely full of confidence and he's just continued in the same vein. What a hat-trick, what a performance in this win. Some people call this side... English Football League 2, 2, Notts County, nil. Crawley Town, 2... Wickham Wanderers, 1. Exeter City, 4. Chesterfield, 1. Morecambe, 2. Colchester United, 1. Newport County, 0. Accrington Stanley, 1. Stevenage, 0. Mansfield Town, 3. Swindon Town, 1. Yeovil Town, 1. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Exeter City with 64 points. In second, Notts County with 61 points. In third, Colchester United with 60 points. In fourth, Wickham Wanderers with 60 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fifth, climbing the table are Crawley Town with 59 points. In sixth, moving down are Swindon Town with 59 points, but only behind on goal difference. In eighth, rising up the table are Mansfield Town with 54 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom and falling are Newport County with 30 points. Fourth bottom, Stevenage with 31 points. Fifth bottom, Barnet with 36 points.